please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. It's Monday, October 29th. I'm Emma Eisman. And I'm Abigail Greenwald. Coming up, the boys cross country team ran to the district championship on Saturday. Also, see the spooky monsters made in Mr. Leonard's sculpture class for Falcoween. We'll be right back with all this in your school news. class news today is picture retake day any student who does not have an ID card must have their picture taken today any student who would like to order a packet may pick up an order form in the main office for those who do have their IDs make sure you you do your best to remember to bring them in each morning and wear them all day we'll be right back after this message on IDs if you got your ID and you know it clap your hands if you got your ID you know it clap your hands if you got your ID, you know it. Then you really want to show it. If you got your ID, you know it. Clap your hands. If you got your ID, you know it. Clap your hands. Hey, where's your ID? It's in my pocket. You know that has to be on you at all times, right? Yeah. Hey, come join us. All right. All right. If you got your ID, you know it. Clap your hands. If you got your ID, you know it. Clap your hands. If you got your ID, you know it. Then you really want to show it. If you got your ID, you know it. Clap your hands. Seniors, Blue Cardinal will be in the high school from 7.30 to 10 a.m. this Thursday for your last chance to have your senior photo taken for the yearbook. Seniors who are interested in powder puff should turn in their money and permission slips to Mrs. Gerhardt in the library ASAP. Junior girls, if you are interested in participating in the powder puff football game, come to room 116, Mr. Dissinger, to sign up and pick up permission forms and practice information. You must sign up before Thursday. The ASVAB test will be offered on November 2nd in the LGI to current 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Sign up in the counseling office. In Club News, Students for Christ will be meeting in the LGI during activity period Wednesday. All interested students are invited to hear a life-changing message. The last day to join Drama Club is today, and the club will be meeting on Wednesday. This meeting is only for members for a costume fashion show after the business portion of our meeting, so plan those costumes now. No masks, and prizes will be awarded. If you're 16 or older and weigh at least 110 pounds, you can help save a life at the upcoming blood drive. To schedule your appointment, simply stop by room 809 today. <coughs> German Club is selling Toblerone chocolate bars and advent calendars. Find a German Club member or stop in room 318. NHS members, chicken barbecue will be available on November 13th at 2.30. All tickets and money are due by November 1st. Also, keep looking for those service opportunities. Volunteers are needed on Thursday, November 8th to help set up for the Student Council Conference from 11.15 until 3. Sign up with Mrs. Zaki in room 314. Members of Model United Nations, stop by Dr. Zaria's room 108 to pick up a permission form for the Susquehanna Valley MUN Conference. The conference is Tuesday, November 13th. Club dues must be paid before you can sign up. In school news, any students who are interested in entering a script for the Outstanding Student Playwright Award, a letter of intent must be received by Tuesday. See Mrs. Haynes in room 608 for more information. This Wednesday, October 31st, is Falcoween. Come dressed in your costume, bring candy to your homeroom teacher, and trick-or-treat in the hallways between classes. Reminder that bandanas are not allowed because they violate the dress code. Also, no masks are allowed to be worn, no hoodies can be worn with the hood up, and face makeup should be limited so that students can still be identified. Seniors, juniors, and sophomores, colleges are visiting Cedar Crest. So sign up today at the College and Career Center desk in the library if you are interested in meeting with them. Here are the upcoming college visits. Wednesday, October 31st, Elizabethtown College and King's College. Thursday, November 1st, Muhlenberg College. As some of us may know, on Friday afternoon, an accident involving eight vehicles took place in front of Warwick High School as students were leaving the school. Five people, including three Warwick High School students, were taken to the hospital. One student's death was announced on Friday, Jack Nicholson. 
Yesterday, Megan Keeney, another victim of the crash, was also pronounced dead. We should continue to offer our support from our Falcon Springs community to the Warwick community as we ourselves know how difficult this is. At this time, let us share a moment of silence for Jack Nicholson, Megan Keeney, and the family and friends of those affected by this tragedy. Thank you. Every year, Mr. Leonard's sculpture class makes spooky creations to put in the hallway outside of his room. Lexi Lesher asked him and his students about their sculptures this year. The kids start off learning about ancient sculptures, and then uh, as, as we progress through time, we also uh, start to build sculptures. We make small ceramic ones, and then we work our way up to these life-size ones. There are wooden armatures underneath, and we usually build them on wheels so we can, you know, take them in and out of the hallway and move them around. Um, and then they're covered with crushed up newspaper and covered with masking tape and then covered with plastered cloth and painted. What was the hardest part of making that sculpture? Painting it. Yes. Yeah. I guess the hardest part was trying to get him like to the correct measurements that we wanted him to be. The hardest part of the process is definitely, without a doubt, cleanup. Because it's messy. I thought it would be fun to have the sculptures in the hallway as a scene so kids could uh, take pictures of themselves, you know, selfies with them. And Halloween gives us a good deadline so they have something to work with and they get experience working towards deadlines. And it's fun. Check out these creepy sculptures outside of room 417 and take some scary selfies with them. And now your sports news. In sports news, the boys cross country team turned in a triumphant performance on Saturday to become District 3 champions. The boys ran tough on the muddy course. Tommy Bildheiser and Luke Heingardner led the charge by finning, finishing 9th and 10th place respectively to earn district medals. William Sheffield enjoyed a breakthrough race as the third place finisher and Ben McElroy, DJ Law Liberty, Ryan Chicatano, and Jake Barrett rounded out the team's performance. This qualifies the team to compete at the state meet in Hershey on Saturday. The girls cross country team enjoyed a very strong performance to finish 12th overall and avenge losses to several teams from the regular season. Gwyneth Young continued her super season to finish the, as the district runner-up. She will represent Cedar Crest at the state meet on Saturday. Shayla Bonzelay ran another strong race to finish 35th place. Lizzie Villa, Mia Riger, and Brenna Turnich rounded out the scoring for the team. Any girls interested in playing basketball this year must complete their section 7-4. Please see Coach Lutz in room 207 if you need one. And now we send it over to Kyle with your weekly outlook. Kyle, is it going to be dry for Halloween? We are going to start to see a system moving through, which may give us some rain for the later half of when the little kids are out trick-or-treating, but we're going to find out when the time comes closer. As for today, we're going to start seeing some showers coming in from yesterday, but we'll open up to cloudy skies later in the day with a high of 53 and a low of 38. Moving into tomorrow, all this is going to clear out with sunny skies throughout the day with a high of 57 and a low of 42. Wednesday, for Falcon we're going to have partly cloudy skies throughout most of the day. We are going to see some showers develop later at night with a high of 66 and a low of 52. And on Thursday, we're going to wrap up this forecast with partly cloudy skies throughout most of the day with showers starting around 8 at night with a high of 70 and a low of 56. A quarter inch of rain is expected. That's all for your weekly weather outlook. Back to the directors. Congratulations to the Week 9 Wings of Praise winners. Week 9 Wings of Praise is sponsored by Sheets of Lebanon. They donated the gift cards for our winners. This week's winners are Ashley Flowers, Caroline Kreider, Tommy Bildheiser, Bryce Adams, and Christian Morales. Congratulations, and everyone keep up the great work. The winner should see Mr. Schaefer in the main office during homeroom. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Emma Eisman. And I'm Abigail Greenwald. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.